Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Many of you probably already know that Skylim Software this fall will be introducing a new version of Luminar, Luminar 4. Luminar 4 is going to have a lot of improvements and new features over Luminar 3. And I want to share one of the new features with you because I was able to get my grubby hands on a pre-release copy of it. And it's a really, really cool feature. I think you're going to like it. It's a new filter called AI Structure. And as the name implies, Artificial Intelligence Structure, it will apply like a sharpening kind of to your image in an intelligent way. Let me demonstrate. I have this image of this young lady here. And let's say I want to kind of sharpen and add structure, clarity, uh, to everything but her face and skin. Well, I'll go to the Add Filter, and I'll go to the new AI Structure Filter. And again, this is a pre-release. It's not out yet. It will be in the new version of Luminar 4 that will be released this fall. And you can see that this filter really just has two sliders. And if I move it to the right, you'll see that I'm going to add structure to the image. You could see it being added to the image. If I go to the left, we're going to soften it, right? Well, check this out. I'm going to zoom in on her face. Watch her face. I'm going to move the amount slider to the right. Do you see that it's adding structure everywhere but on her face? This filter will be an incredible tool for portrait photographers, lifestyle photographers, wedding photographers. You just want to sharpen the background or the environment, but you don't want to sharpen their faces. This filter's for you. You want to sharpen their clothing, but you don't want to sharpen their faces. This filter's for you. But it's actually a little bit more than this. It actually not only recognizes faces, it recognizes objects because... Let's face it, some things may need more structure than other things. For example, maybe um, a building that is like a red brick building, you might want a little more structure on that than you might want, let's say, grass in a field or something like that. And that's why uh, this filter really shines, because it recognizes the different elements that are in a scene and will add structure accordingly to those elements. Now I have this image here. We have a, a statue and our sculpture. We have some grass, ice, and clouds. And I already did some raw develop um, processing and I added some saturation and vibrance. And I want to add the new AI structure filter. Close down that filters catalog so you could see. Now right here, I'll just move it to the right. And you can see that it really does a nice job. It's it's affecting the sky. Now, if I go too far, I do admit it's starting to look HDR-ish, and I don't like that, so we'll back it off. Now, you may be wondering, what's this boost slider down here? Well, while experiment, experimenting with it, I found that it's a, a kind of a more fine detail, meaning if I keep this amount slider, let's say around 35 to 40, I like what it did to the sky. There's before, there's after. If I move boost to the right, watch what it does to the grass. Can you see that? It's affecting the grass, but it doesn't seem to be affecting the sky. See what I mean? So it kind of uh, will affect the finer detail. So if you're applying AI structure with the amount slider, but it's not really kicking in good enough for you on that finer detail, then move boost to the right. Now, let's go to another image. Here's an image of my cat, Rocky. Now, this is one that maybe uh, I would think that that finer detail might come into play. So we'll go to Add Filter, AI Structure, and I'm going to move them out to the right. Now, I don't want to go too far. But again, it kind of recognizes the different elements in the frame, and we'll add the structure accordingly. And I'll move this boost to the right so it, you could see, I don't know if you could see that in the video. I hope you can. It's uh, mainly affecting his face. There's before and there's after. Before, after. So it did a pretty cool job right there as well. Go to this image. This is a kind of a typical landscape image. 
this um, image, I may want to do something with the sky as well, but we'll go to the AI structure. And again, on this one, I did raw develop and saturation vibrance. And um, we're going to move a mount up. Look at that's pretty cool. Maybe add boost just a little bit, get some of those finer details down there. There's before and there's after. Before, after. That might be just a touch too much. But you can see how it's not affecting the sky as much as it's affecting the uh, cliffs and the trees. So it's really an intelligent filter. Now on this one here, I might want to add a sky enhancer as well. And we'll move that to the right. You can see how that is just affecting the sky. So between those two filters, you know, I made a significant uh, adjustment to this image. Uh, really, uh, it's unreal. Um, everything is starting be to become more and more almost automated. And uh, the software is recognizing the different elements in a scene. And it will be able to add structure to those different elements in varying amounts that fit those elements. And in the case of the AI sky enhancer, it could find the sky and enhance the sky without affecting anywhere else. Uh, so it's really incredible. I really think the AI structure filter, though, is probably best when people are in the scene. And I, I just, there's so many times that I've um, had lifestyle photography, I've wedding engagements and things like that. And I would have the image in Photoshop and I'd want to sharpen their clothing, but not, of course, sharpen their skin. So I'd have to do masking to do add sharpening and brushes to brush it into their, um, you know, clothing and things like that. Well, now with Luminar, it's going to be much, much easier and faster. So I just wanted to share it with you. I thought it was really incredible. Uh, also, I will add that um, I believe all these shots were shot with different cameras. I'll look it up and I'll have all that gear info below. So you could see how it, it's not really, um, you know, dependent. It's like, doesn't work better with, let's say a Nikon camera over a Fuji camera or anything like that. I think these were all different cameras, but I'll double check and I'll have all that gear that I use listed below. So you could check that out. I'll also have my affiliate links, uh, for Luminar, the new version, uh, if, available as pre-sale now and if you buy it now you'll save a lot of money uh, so you could check that out and I'll also have a link so you could check out the other features that are going to be in Luminar 4 beside AI structure so that's it I hope uh, this is inter of interest to many of you I think it will be that are really into um, you know adding sharpening structure type effects to specific parts of the image. I really think this will help. Thanks everyone. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>